Hey beer tubers, Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Gonna be looking at beer from Drake's Brewing. They're up in Northern California, and this is their latest release. It's called Alpha Session. This is their what they're calling their NorCal Session Ale. On the side, it says that they're using two row barley, Marish Otter, Touch of Crystal 45 malts, and then they hop it with Simcoe, Citra and CTZ, all better known as Columbus, Tom Hound, Zeus. So this one clocks in at a actual session beer 3.8%. So it actually fits under that 4% mark that the Brits like to use. So uh, let's get this open and poured into the old Nonic pint glass. Okay, so it pours out really, really clear. Wow, that is just a straight golden color. I, I'm getting some aroma already coming off it, but don't know if you can see how uh, clear that is. Very effervescent, good amount of carbonation coming up. Even though the head's uh, less than, it's a bright white head, but not, not much of it on this. So, I mean, it looks straight up like a, like a British bitter. Definitely has that pale color to it. Just, yeah, like a um, medium straw kind of golden color to it. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, big, big West Coast hops, you know, American hops for sure. You get some uh, earthiness, some of that dank kind of resinous character. There's some sweet orange in there. A little bit of like an apricot. There's a floral note. You know, it kind of has a little bit of mandarin orange. Maybe a little bit of brightness coming through. It's pretty, pretty hoppy on the nose, but it doesn't sound, you know, like overly bitter. It's a lot of dry hopping on it. So uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. Yeah, for 50 IBUs, I thought it would be um, a little more bitter on the character. Maybe it'll linger around a bit more. You definitely tell it's, it, you know, it's hopped up compared to, you know, the few British bitters I've had at this percent. Some good hot flavors. It's a very short mouthfeel. Certainly a very light body on this one. There's a lot of that, uh, that really biscuity, bready, malt character to it. I don't know what their combination of the two row and Maris Otter was on this one, but it, you're definitely getting that coming through. You know, maybe a slight bit of sweetness from the, the Crystal 45, but not a whole lot. It's not a sweet beer at all. It finishes really dry. It's fairly crisp as well. Bittering wise, mostly get that pine character that I think Columbus kind of shows through the most. Bitter grapefruit, pine, earthy dankness might be coming from the citra as well. It, it lacks the, the hop sweetness that I wish that was in there, especially the citra. Like it, I'm not getting a ton of that sweeter orange tropical fruit notes. There's a little bit of that there, but not as much as I like in, in this type of beer, which I think should be maybe a little less on the, on the, the bittering side and more hot flavor forward. It, now I've had a few sips, it, it definitely tends to build up bitterness. I can certainly see this kind of, you know, being up in that 40, 50 IBU range, no problem. I mean, it's got a good solid bitter foundation to it. The malt character, you know, I wish they'd maybe add I don't know, maybe some other little malts in there, maybe a touch more sweetness to kind of help balance out some of that bitterness. Because I, I think when the lower ABV you tend to want, you know, it, with this amount of hops, you want a little bit more like a honey malt in there, add a little bit of sweetness to actually kind of help the hops as well. So it, it's, it's, it's cool, it's only 3.8%, I'll have no trouble going through this bomber, but you know, not, not quite as uh, hot f flavor forward as I wish it was. So drinking on this one some more as it warms, it get a touch more sweetness, but um, the, the piney character really starts to kind of dominate the flavor profile. Definitely a uh, big time kind of fresh cut pine needles with a slight bit of that dankness, slight bit of uh, like bitter grapefruit in there. I mean, you get a touch of maybe a, a tiny bit of sweet sort of citrus note in there on the flavor wise, but um, and it's, it's a little more carbonated than I like. I wish it was a little lower, especially if, if they're going for like a bitter style, even though it's their version of a bitter. 
So grading wise, I'm going to go B minus on this one. I think it's definitely above average, just on the lower end of such. I'm glad they did this. It's it's very cool to see a brewery bottle an actual 3.9% beer. Uh, makes for I mean this is really drinkable stuff. Have no problem drinking it. It's, it's nice and hop forward, which I do like. Uh, and these lower ABV beers. This is certainly a beer that's completely different from you know any type of British style bitter. I'm not getting much of like a yeast character. Probably just using like Cal, Cal Ale yeast to ferment it because I'm not getting those really nice British esters. If they're there, they're getting kind of really really pushed back from the hop character. So it's interesting take on the style. I wish more breweries would brew these beers. At least put them on draft. Maybe not at the bottle. But that's once again Alpha Session. Pretty hoppy session ale from Drake, so check it out. I think uh, it's worth checking out at least once, uh, even though I'm not like a huge fan of it. As I was wrapping up, I just took a few more sips. I, I, I do tend to get a little bit of more fruitiness kind of peeking in that's probably from the yeast esters, but still not anything like an English bitter wish I was mentioning. So it's gonna wrap it up for this review. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.